No Man's Sky, where do I even begin? If you're like me, you likely fell for the hype of this game. I went out and spent $60 on a game that I absolutely cannot stand. To me, it's a glorified Minecraft. Same concept. Um, and it, it, I guess you're meant to feel alone in the world because... And this is where I have that problem. Because the CEO of whatever, so, some small studio, was it called? I'm trying Hello Games, that's it, okay. Uh, he, he, he's a liar, you know, he's been caught in several lies. He said that this game was going to have multiplayer at one point. There is no multiplayer. Um, that even if there was no multiplayer, you'd be able to see other people playing. That's also a lie. That's been proven on Twitch that, uh, that's not the case whatsoever. No Man's Sky uh, got hyped pretty quick. Pretty, it, it, it had to do with E3, okay? They they showed the game at E3, I don't know if it was this year or last year, and people went ballistic. And I, I don't understand why they would lie to their, you know, potential consumer base. I understand they wanted to make record-breaking sales, and they did. But at the end, you've 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 pissed off all your new customers, you know, and, and that's not how you build a game. That's not how you run a business, for that matter, you know. And it it just irritates me. And I'm I'm one that I'm one of the people who fell for it, you know. And I and that's fine, whatever. I've bought games I've hated before for sixty bucks. It's not the first time, and it won't be the last, I'm sure. But to blatantly lie to your customers and say that there's multiplayer and and that you can interact with other people and blah 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 and none of that's true is just it's it's sneaky you know. And every time I see the the face of the CEO of Hello Games, I just want to punch him. His stupid little British face. I have nothing against British people. I'm just I don't like him. Okay. So let's just go into it. And here's the here's the latest update to to the No Man's Sky issues. Apparently, No Man's Sky now wipes your discoveries after two weeks. That's what people are saying. I'm clicking on this article right now. It's on Geek.com. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Here's an update to that. It says the user who first discovered that No Man's Sky wipes your discoveries has updated his post to reveal that after redownloading. And reloading the game several times, his discoveries reappeared. The user believes it might be a server bug that is causing this issue. Okay, so maybe, that in that case, maybe it is just server issues. Anyway, they need to fix those too. Their servers? Yeah. And it's not just this game that need to fix their servers. I'm looking at you, Niantic, with Pokemon Go. That's a different video. Anyway. Yeah, it says... Uh, it says a little... Over two weeks, one Reddit user decided to return to the system he had started the game from. After many hours of travel, he finally made it to where his journey had begun, only to discover that all his planet locations, plants, and animals he named were reset. So it's probably server error. I'm not going to play this game until they come out with some updates. I've already started playing it, and I got bored so quick. And the footage you're seeing right now is actually me playing the game for the first time. Uh, it was live on Twitch, so I went ahead and... Decided to make a rant video out of this footage instead of a first play of this footage. Which uh, which is what I was going to originally do. I'm not doing that now. I don't want to give any positive anything towards this game until they fix their issues. And until they add multiplayer. If they even will. I don't. They probably will, never will. You know. So. Here we go. Here's a great example. The exploration of No Man's Sky is often glorious. Especially at first. When the game feels truly limitless, but the endless repetitive crafting is a drag, and crafting constitutes the bulk of the game. When the game starts, you're stranded on a planet with a broken spaceship. The planet's characteristics are different for everyone, but in most, every case, is lush and beautiful, which I will give them that. It does look amazing in 1080p on a big TV, you know. 
but it's inhabited by strange creatures and litter the rocks and plants that you can gather and convert into resources, which is fine. But this is starting to get Minecrafty like two minutes into the game, you know? We we already have this game, except Minecraft I think Minecraft is still beautiful beautiful even though it's like eight or sixteen bit looking. This game is beautiful too, but it's the same concept and I've already played this concept for years you know now you can argue well Call of Duty comes out with new game and you're right they do come out with new game every year and it's the exact same stuff that's fine whatever but they do give us different weapons it's a little different okay whereas if they came out with several versions of Minecraft no it doesn't work that way because it's the same thing down to a T you know at least with Call of Duty you get different story different guns different levels Minecraft is Minecraft, and No Man's Sky is No Man's Sky, which is a copy of Minecraft. Basically, No Man's Sky is a better looking version of Minecraft. And for 60 bucks, not worth it. But anyway, the point is, I can't stand the CEO. He, he has lied over and over and over and over, and I don't like him. I'm not going to buy anything else from Hello Games. Um, rub me the wrong way, and I usually dip. So, it is what it is. Anyway, this has been Danny's Rant. Episode, I don't know, probably 9 or 10. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, I would always appreciate that as well. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.